to solve log equations, if you have multiple logs on a side, you want to get it down to a single log statement. So to get it to a single log statement, we have to apply some of our log properties. So quickly I can identify, there are two separate log statements on one side. i got to get it down to one, and I see an addition. So that means if I have the sum of two logs, I can write it as a log of a product. So it's going to be the natural log of, and I want to take this 3 times this x minus 2. So it's going to be 3 times x minus 2 equals 12. Well, that's going to be the natural log of, I'm just going to simplify, this is 3x minus 6 by distributing. And when we had a single log statement, we can rewrite it as an exponential, or if you remember that the inverse of a natural log, and that's what we've been working on, is the log of or an exponential base e. So we're going to exponentiate both sides to a base e. And a natural log and exponential base e are inverses, so they reduce. So 3x minus 6 equals e to the 12th. And we'll simply get rid of subtracting 6 and multiplying by 3. So that means 3x equals e to the 12th plus 6. And we'll get rid of multiplying by 3 by dividing by 3. So x equals e to the 12th plus 6. I don't want to make that look like it's in the exponent. So it's e to the 12th. Then add your 6. Then divide by 3. So once again, we're going to use our e key. We're going to go to the 12th power. And we're going to add our 6, and the addition of 6, take that answer and divide it by 3. So our answer should be close to, um, yeah, 54,000. 253. Okay, so log and exponential equations using GEMDAS backwards. I think the biggest thing that we need to remember when we do these is to get a, a single log statement on either side or a single log statement on one side.